So I may have cracked open another graded card. CGC. Welcome back, folks. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for dropping by and your ongoing support. My name is Patrick, host of the Age Brutality YouTube page, which I upload Magic the Gathering content and analysis every Sunday. Before we jump right into today's exciting unboxing, a quick and special thanks to patrons like you for making videos like this possible. Now, I can confidently say after unboxing this card is quite possibly one of the most beautiful pieces I now own in my collection. So as I unbox this sucker, how about you leave a like and even drop a comment down in the comment section below and enjoy the ride. Let's get into the video. Alrighty folks, so today we have a very important package that I'm very excited to share with you all. Uh, and you know, I thought I was done buying magic cards, but uh, for those that aren't informed, at the time of recording, my father went into uh, cardiac arrest just this past week and uh, yeah I figured that uh, may as well cope with some emotional spending uh, all is well right now he's currently getting more tested the important part is he's stable so you know we uh, we did purchase this and just make sure that there's no dresses or anything Alrighty, here we go. So all the important information that you guys aren't supposed to see is now taken off. Perfect. Now I did purchase this off of eBay, uh, but yes, he is stable now. Fantastic. And uh, you know, even though he's stable, I already bought the card. So <laughs> it just arrived today. I don't think I'm gonna need this just yet, but it's just a single card in here. And it is a rather different take from that I am used to. All right, good. This was purchased off of eBay, and it was the only one I could find. It says, turn your memories into a museum. All right, this is not a sponsored video, so let's get that out of here. Okay, as you can see, this is a graded card. And today we're going to be opening her up. So what is it? <laughs> a Numat the Devastator from Planar Chaos, Polnar Chaos, Planar Chaos, I don't know. I gotta really figure out how to pro uh, pronounce that. But yes, it is a CGC Universal Grade 9, which I've heard is the equivalent to a PSA 10. And the reason why I'm opening up this, even though it feels wrong, is because, well, this card isn't absurdly expensive, about $40 for this graded copy. And the only ones available on TCG Player, believe it or not, are uh, moderately to lightly played, and they're going around for $27 to $30. So for just $10 more, I was able to get a graded nine, and we're gonna crack her open. Don't worry though, because she will be double sleeved with our resealable inners, as well as finished in the Dragon Shield Crimson Mats. And to top it all off, we got a new deck box for this puppy to go on the game genic sidekick extra large so very red themed land destruction i got this idea for a deck after making a youtube short for my commander quick tech series and yeah i want to get into land destruction so we're gonna start her off in good fashion by destroying this beautifully graded case this little slab like I said, this feels this feels very wrong, especially since it's a nine. But you know, if I take care of my cards, I'd much rather play them than have them sit on a shelf. Now, last time, believe it or not, I did use. Where are they? Of course, I don't have them in my pocket. I use like pliers to get them open. And watching back my videos, probably wasn't the smartest choice. So we're using this doll. Exacto knife. We're gonna try to plot. Oh, we're gonna try to pry this thing open without cutting myself. Of course, I just have to find where the lip is. All right. I don't want to break the blade either. That might not work. Oh yeah, that's definitely not working. Actually, maybe. 
you know what? I'm not concerned. I'm, I'm really not concerned with breaking this open anymore because you can see there's a mark here and there's a mark right over here. So obviously someone may have wanted to open this at one point and then they had second thoughts later on. So let's see if I can just squeeze this in. No, I can't. Okay, of course I can't. Let's uh, let's get the priors and pray that this stays a CGC 9. Okay, so here we are. <laughs> the destructive thoughts. Oh my goodness, the damage I could do with this. But yes, one good look at this before we crack her open. Oh my gosh, it is so beautiful. Centering, a 9. Surface, a 9. Corners, a 9. And center edging. Jesus Christ. Edge, oh gosh, that sounds so wrong. Edges, a 9.5. What a beautiful piece of Magic the Gathering history. It's about to be ruined. My goodness, this case. No going back now. This case is much more durable than the last one. Holy cow. CGC, I'll tell you, you are using some better plastic. I'm going to hold down here so if it does fracture, the card will be safe. And make sure this time I'm going to look away because it might go flying. Okay, it definitely went flying. Thankfully, that did not hit my face. Hopefully, it did not hit my computer monitor. I actually have no idea where that went. Sounded like it went behind me. And of course, all that work in the case, it's cracked, but it's not open. So let's see if we can get some leverage in here. No, there's no way. We need more damage to this plastic case. I really, you know, they make it, they make it difficult. You have to destroy a little paper inside. This <laughs> is so, oh my gosh, this hurts, this hurts my soul. It really does. Okay, wait a minute. We might be able to salvage the, wait. I think I'm onto something. I am definitely onto something. Hold up. That plastic is sharp. Okay, no. We need more. Now, like I said, I don't typically like breaking slabs. Oh, gosh. But, uh, you know, all the recent debacle with uh, the rules committee for transferring it to Wizard of the Coast, all of that. Oh, my gosh, my finger. Oh, that pinched. Uh, yeah, it really hasn't given me much confidence in the collectability standpoint in Magic the Gathering. So uh, it makes this whole process actually a little bit easier. We need to make sure I get a vacuum. Just to make sure there's none of these plastic parts even get remotely close to the surface. Because if they do, this thing will no longer have a surface of a nine. Okay, she's open, she's open. Okay, okay, we're good, we're okay. We are okay. Can we take the little paper out? <laughs> I saved it this time. So here we go. I think I'm gonna save that. I don't know what I'm gonna save it for. We are gonna save it. You know what, I might, I might digitally scan this and make it into a play mat. That'd be really cool. Like destroying lands and slabs. <laughs> Sense, insert date here. Okay. Let's make sure. Oh. My goodness, look at the foiling on this card. Let me actually turn this right side up for you all. Holy 
cow. Now, Magic the Gathering is not, um, <laughs> it's not a good, uh, way to spend your money, I must admit. But I must say, this is money well spent. Alright, let me do my best to rake this off to make the, uh, the presentation a little bit better for you all. And then I will, uh, actually make sure all the, uh, the plastic is, you know, taken care of. Okay, so we have our grating. Or what was our grating. We have our resealable inners. We have our case here. And my... Where are my sleeves? Here are my sleeves. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Let's make sure... There's no dust on anything. Now, I am going to be building this new mod deck, and I will be sharing it with you on the channel. And, uh, I am going to be foiling it out. It's going to be rather nice, let's just make sure. No dust there. Make sure I don't spit on this as I blow. Okay. So, as you can see, the curling, unfortunately, is, uh, not preventable. But, uh, yeah, fairly beautiful piece. So this is a nine, a solid nine. I wonder how nice the card has to be to be a 10. Maybe no curling? I wonder, does that actually affect grading if it curls or not? Does curling have to do with the edges or the surface score? For those that are really familiar with grading cards, please, I love to hear from you in the uh, comment section. Let's make sure that's a snug fit. It is, okay. Now we can touch this thing. Wow. I'm gonna have so much fun with this deck, blowing up people's lands, including my own. Look, actually this is really cool. It looks like there's lightning in the sky because of the foil. Just, wow. Amazing, okay. Now, I've yet to see these Crimson Sleeves as well. I've never owned a Crimson Sleeves, but I figured if I'm destroying lands, one of the win cons being Obliterate, I may as well match with Card Sleeves. So. Oh, those are... That's a brilliant red. That's nice. That's very nice. Okay. Why am I whispering? I don't know. <laughs> oh, here we go. There you have it, Numa the Devastator in all his glory. Actually, let me know, would red or, no, red, red definitely fits. I was gonna say maybe yellow. Um, but wow. They make red, white, and blue sleeves. I might actually look into those too. American flags, Jeskai. I'm very happy with this, very happy. Yeah, so now we have a, uh, a solid nine ungraded card. Gonna pop it right in the game genic case. And yeah, like I said, this was all because uh emotional spending. I was like, I'm just gonna pull the trigger, screw it, and there you go. Perfect. Alrighty, folks, yeah, that's gonna do it for today's episode. I'd like to thank you all so much for sticking around. I'm super excited to bring this deck to you all and showcase more of it on the channel. But until then, if you wanna stay tuned for future videos on the channel, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the bell down in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. So, being said, my name is Patrick, host of EDH Fatality. I thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace out, guys.